Good day mates and mateheads and welcome back to another Fishing for Icebergs tutorial. Today we are looking at the other thing that you can produce infinitely. So while with this you can produce infinite food, this system over here will allow you to produce infinite wood. Uh, now this system is based on the Steve's Carts 2 mod and that's actually all it requires. Um, now, how it works is that the Steve's Cart mod allows for the automatic placement of saplings, which will eventually grow into trees, at which point this cart here, with its um, little saw attachment, will cut them down and collect the wood. On top of collecting the wood, you'll see if I just open it up here, there are these uh, saplings which are automatically added when it removes the leaves from the trees. Now, the way this system works is that the cart is automatically powered by the solar panels on top of it as well as by a um, small combustion engine. The combustion engine works off the wood that it creates but over time it creates more, this system creates more wood than is used by the machine as long as it only runs during the day. Now in order to stop it running at night you need a little system of a light detector added either by red power or in the later versions of Minecraft uh, just standard craft feeding into one of these advanced detector rails. Now advanced detector rails stop Steve's carts unless there is a redstone signal being fed into them. Uh, here, what this is, is a cargo manager. Oh, for bugger's sake. Now, the way you get this system to stop running at night is through the use of this little system here. Uh, now, the advanced detector rail here is added by the Steve's Carts mod, and as long as there is a red power, as long as there is a redstone signal being fed into it, it will allow a Steve's Cart free passage. Uh, now, the signal is here is supplied by a red power light detector however in later versions of Minecraft you can just use the standard craft light detector and that means that as long as the sun is up the uh, system will run but the moment that the sun goes down the cart will be stopped. Advanced detector rails are also used here in conjunction with what's called the cargo manager. Uh, each of the sides has a color and that color corresponds to a certain action if I just open the GUI here. Now a problem with the, C the Steve's Carts mod is that the uh, game interface is much too large for in some versions of the mod packs so instead uh, you have to go into your video settings and minimize the size of the GUI so that it works properly. However, as you can see here, uh, the GUI is currently set to its standard setting. Now, if we look at the outside, we can see that the cart will interact with the blue side and the red side. Now, the blue side comes first, so what you want to do is you want to have it remove from the cart's storage slots and this will mean that it will take out any excess 
um, any excess like wood or um, any wood or saplings or the such and then in this one you want to change it to the engine and have uh, items transferred to the engine. Now what this will do is it will take the wood that is transferred out of the cart here, out of the storage, and add it into the engine slot allowing for it to be powered. However, as you see here, there is less content in the engine slot than there is in the uh, storage slots, and as such, uh, the engine will fill up quickly and leave a surplus of items remaining. And now if we just set the time so that we don't lose too much power in the system, it would be very bad. If this just stopped working, that would be kind of awkward for me. There we are. Uh, leaves do get in the way temporarily, but generally the solar power, the solar engine will have generated enough excess to keep powering it until such time as the leaves are cleared. As you can see happening here, it clears all leaves as long as they are connected to the tree that it is currently working on. So even though it's working on this tree, this corner attachment here is countered by the system but once this goes away as you'll see there it should yeah it stops working on the other trees and only works on the one that is actually interacting with now moving on we have to tell you how to make this cart uh, over here we have the cart assembler now the cart assembler is the block you use to assemble the carts Around the sides here we have some various uh, upgrades which just add extra effects including this creative mode upgrade which allows, for the, which allows for the instantaneous use of this system but only in creative mode or if this item is creatively spawned. Now if we have a look inside, all we have here is what's called a standard hull which is just a standard iron based hull which you then add a uh, solar engine and a tiny coal engine too for power. You add a wood cutter as the tool and storage slots, side chests and then up to three internal storage chests. On top of that, while these weren't included in the other one, you can add other attachments or engines. Uh, an example of an attachment is the fertilizer, which if you can figure out a way to add um, bone meal to the cart, perhaps through uh, one of the drop traps that I showed you in another episode, uh, the fertilizer will automatically fertilize the um, saplings that it comes across. And of course there are also add-ons such as an invisibility core. That wouldn't really have much use, but, you know, your choice. And uh, that's it, really. Uh, the system is, for the most part, self-sustaining. It just goes round and round and round. But eventually, it starts to produce some excess wood, some apples, eventually some uh, saplings. And that's it. If you would like to see more of this sort of tutorial, Please press all the appropriate buttons, and I will see you next time. Oh, right, if you need anything clarified, please just let me know. Have a nice day.